like to spray for bugs without hurting bees, I'll give you some tips in today's Iron Talk. If you have high levels of harmful insects in your field, spraying an insecticide can certainly help and is likely your best bet. Keeping bee colonies safe is important too, and those two things don't have to be mutually exclusive. Here are some steps you can take to protect the bees and your fields from problem insects. The first thing you need to do is have open communications with neighbors and beekeepers. If you simply give notice that you need to spray, the beekeeper has time to plan accordingly. Secondly, time your spray applications appropriately, and this is a real big deal. The most important time to avoid spraying is clearly during flowering. For bees, that's their time to work. Flowering is also the time that you don't want to have to spray your crops anyway as they're highly susceptible to injury. So if you must spray, move your application either to later in the day or when the weather is cool. Another big thing though is why get caught in that predicament in the first place? You know exactly when your crops are going to reach flowering. So scout them and spray either before or if need be after flowering. Third, avoid spraying just before rain or dew, which can lead to insecticides staying on the leaf and flower surfaces much longer. Also, product selection can make a huge difference too. Some insecticides have more residual activity and others provide more of a quick knockdown. One particular call out is the neonicotinoid family. Since neonics don't kill bees quickly, in many cases they can actually bring that back to the hive and kill the whole hive. So to minimize or avoid issues, save those neonics for seed treatment use only where they're safely below the ground. Finally, follow labeled rates and spray directions to minimize drift and other potential longer-term impacts. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show.